distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen. Distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, it's my honor and privilege to welcome to our meet this morning the Senate President. Distinguished Senator Ahmed Ibrahim Bawa, Grand Commander Order of the Niger. Welcome, Senate President. While before the awaiting arrival of the special guest, you must find you have the floor, please. Excellencies, distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, the Pipers have just signaled the arrival of the reviewing officer for today's historic event. Any moment from now, the reviewing officer will be in our midst for the Nigerian Army Trooping and Presentation of Colors Parade 2023. As we can see, ladies and gentlemen, the pipers flanking the presidential vehicle conveying the special guest of honor to the left and to the right. Distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, this is the moment we have been waiting for. I have the honor and privilege to announce the arrival of the reviewing officer for the Nigerian Army Trooping and Presentation of Colors Parade 2023. His Excellency Muhammadu Buhari, Grand Commander of the Order of the Federal Republic, President, Commander in Chief of the Armed Forces of the Federal Republic of Nigeria. Welcome, Your Excellency. We welcome His Excellency Muhammad Buhari, Grand Commander of the Federal Republic, President, Commander in Chief of the Armed Forces, Federal Republic of Nigeria. You are most welcome, Mr. President. Excellencies, distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, the Parade Commander. Lieutenant Colonel S.Y. Hassan marching forward, mounted on that beautiful stallion. By the way, that uh, stallion is named after the Commander Gas Brigade, Brigadier General A.M. Omar. Of course, marching in those uh, beautiful gates to submit the parade state to the reviewing officer and afterwards invite him to inspect the Nigerian Army Trooping and Presentation of Colors Parade 2020. Nigerian Army Trooping and Presentation of Colors Parade comes up 305 officers, 1,024 soldiers of praise ready for your inspection, Your Excellency. Commander have been submitted the marriage states to the reviewing officer 
by the Chief of Army Staff, Lieutenant General Farouk Yahaya, the Parade Commander, Lieutenant Colonel S.Y. Hassan, and the aide de camp to the President, Colonel Y.M. Dodo. Telecast live by NTA, that's the Nigerian Television Authority, the Channel Television, and the TVC. The special guest of honor and repeat officer. Expecting the Nigerian Army Trooping and Presentation of Color Parades 2023 at the Eagle Square Federal Capital Territory, Abuja. Expecting the mass band at the moment mounted on the parade inspection vehicle accompanied by the Chief of Army Staff. In that vehicle, Lieutenant General Farouk Yahaya. Calls the parade commander, Lieutenant Colonel S.Y. Hassan, the aide de camp to the president, Colonel Y.M. Dodo. Ladies and gentlemen, while the inspection is ongoing, I'll create a kind indulgence to quickly give you a succinct but heavily loaded resume of the reviewing officer. Ladies and gentlemen, the special guest of honor and reviewing officer for this historic regimental event of the Nigerian Army Trooping and Presentation of Call of Parade 2023, His Excellency President Muhammad Buhari, Grand Commander Order of the Federal Republic, was born on 17 December 1942. Daura Katsina State. He had his early education in Katsina before joining the Nigerian Army as an officer cadet in October 1963. He had his military training in Kaduna, Great Britain, India, and the United States of America. In the course of his meritorious military and political career, he was appointed military governor of Northeastern State. In 1975. He also served as a federal commissioner for petroleum resources in 1976. The reviewing officer was appointed military secretary, Supreme Military Headquarters in 1977. He was chairman Nigeria National Petroleum Corporation in 1978 and became head of state commander in chief of the armed forces, Federal Republic of Nigeria. December 1983 to August 1985. Ladies and gentlemen, the special guest of honor has undergone so many military career trainings, amongst which are military training in school Kaduna, 1963. Officers Cadet School, Alder Short, United Kingdom, October 1963. Platoon Commanders Course, Nigerian Military College, Kaduna, 1963. Mechanical Transport Officers Force, Army Mechanical Transport School Board in United Kingdom, 1965. Defense Services Staff College, Wellington, India, 1973. Major 
United States Army War College between 1979 and 1980. Ladies and gentlemen, after a successful military career in the armed forces of Nigeria, he was appointed executive chairman of the Petroleum Trust Fund between 1995 to 1999. Ladies and gentlemen, Special guest of honor as a man with determination driven by his passion and commitment to serve this great nation, contested in the 2015 presidential election, where he emerged victorious and was inaugurated as a democratic elected president on 29 May 2015. After a successful four year tenure in office, President Muhammad Buhari was re-elected for a second tenure in office on 23rd February 2019. Today, ladies and gentlemen, he's here as a special guest of honor and reviewing officer for this historic event of the Nigerian Army Trooping and Presentation of Color Parade 2023, which is the biggest parade in the history of the Nigerian Army and the largest in Africa, 350 officers and 1,300 soldiers on parade. Your Excellencies, distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, it may interest you to know that 81 Nigerian army units and regiments will be issued new national and regimental colors today by the special guest of honor. Coincidentally, among the benefiting units is two battalions, a unit one time commanded by the special guest of honor as commanding officer between 1967 and 19, taking you back to the activities on the parade ground as they unfold the special guest of honor and reviewing officer, His Excellency President Muhammad Buhari fully dressed and adorned in ceremonial, military ceremonial dress to the rank of field marshal have just concluded the inspection of this colorful parade, the Nigerian Army Trooping and Presentation of Color Parade 2023. He has returned to the saluting days for the continuation of the parade. Excellencies, distinguished guests, at this point, ladies and gentlemen, may I respectfully request the Chief of Army staff to please invite the special guest of honor to take his seat. Meanwhile, taking you back to the parade ground, the parade commander, Lieutenant Colonel S.Y. Hassan, had just obtained permission to continue with the rest of the parade. Once again, we welcome the reviewing officer for this colorful parade, President, Commander-in-Chief of the Armed Forces for the Federal Republic of Nigeria, His Excellency, Muhammad Buhari, Grand Commander of the Federal Republic. Commander, of course, had uh, marched back to take his position on the parade ground for the continuation of the parade. Any moment from now, Your Excellency, distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, we're going to witness the fan display before the trooping, retiring of colors, and presentation of your colors. The band, please. Excellency, distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, the mass band displaying this morning consists of Headquarters Nigerian Armed Forces Resettlement Center Band, Headquarters Nigerian Army Band Corps, Army Headquarters Garrison Band, 
Headquarters 81 Division Nigerian Army Band. Gas Brigade Band. Headquarters 9 Brigade Band. And the Nigerian Army School of Music Band. The mass band is conducted by Lieutenant Colonel Raphael Mbene and closely assisted by Major O.J. Obi and Captain K. Bua. Other band officers on parade are Lieutenant O.O. Oladari and Lieutenant D. Anebe. The mass band, Your Excellency, distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, is a military band that renders music with instruments during parades. Some of the instruments include brass instruments, woodwind instruments, and percussion instruments. Once again, the mass band taking the center stage, rendering scintillating tunes in support of this colorful parade this morning. And of course, for the entertainment and listening pleasure of His Excellency, the Reveal Officer, and all the highly esteemed guests and audience who are here present this morning. Translation, Your Excellency, distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, the musical tune being rendered by the mass band at the moment is titled Tales by Moonlight. Tales by Moonlight is a folk tune from the popular Nigerian television authority Moonlight Storytelling Program. Your Excellency, distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, now performing the new masquerade tune is the mass band. The masquerade, new masquerade tune is composed by Nze Dan Oji, arranged for military band by Lieutenant S.A. Kuluma. A la suite est le new masquerade qui est composé par Nze Dan Oji et arrangé pour la musique militaire par Lieutenant S.A. Kuluma. Tune still being performed by the mass band. Your Excellency, this tune is known as the Hallelujah Chimli tune, composed by Onyeka Mwenu, a renowned Nigerian musician. And uh, that tune was arranged by Captain Kebu Kubwa. 
chante s'appelle Alléluia Chibli qui est composé par la musicienne connue Ogeka Owenu et arrangé par le capitaine Kebua. As we can see the mass band uh, adopting another formation here known as the, the double wing formation we can see the brass instruments and the woodwind instrument in those two circles while the percussion instrument and the number of uh, woodwind instruments form the background. Your Excellency, distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, this is the Guards Quick March, tune composed and arranged by Major McDonald, retired of the Nigerian Army Band Corps. Le commandant McDonald à la retraite du corps de musique de l'armée nigérienne. C'est la musée à utiliser pour l'affichage circulaire. The double circular formations have merged into one. One circle. Still rendering the tune title God's Quick March tune composed and arranged by Major McDonald, retired of the Nigerian Army Music Band. Once again, Your Excellency, distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, the mass band displaying at the moment consists of headquarters Nigerian Armed Forces Resettlement Center Band. The headquarters Nigerian Army Band Corps, Army Headquarters Garrison Band, Headquarters 81 Division Nigerian Army Band, Gas Brigade Band, Headquarters 9 Brigade Band, and Nigerian Army School of Music Band. The band is conducted by Lieutenant Colonel Raphael Mbene and assisted by Major O.J. Obi and Captain K. Boa. Other band officers on parade are Lieutenant O.O. Oladari and Lieutenant D. Anebe. Your Excellency, distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, rendering the tune titled Hot Dog, which was composed and arranged by Major G.O. Owagwe. Et enfin, nous écoutions une musique intitulée Hot Dog, composée et arrangée par le commandant G.O. Owagwe. A very fabulous performance by the mass band. Your Excellency, distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, all the tunes used for today's display were the music used by the Gas Brigade Band at the Royal Edinburgh Military Tattoo in August 2009 in Scotland, United Kingdom. The band was then led by the mass band commander of today's parade, Lieutenant Colonel Raphael Mbene, who was the officer commanding Gas Brigade Band at that time. Mesdames et Messieurs, tous les pièces jouées pour le défié d'aujourd'hui Éteint la musique utilisée par la bande de brigade des gardes au Royal Edinburgh Military Tattoo en août 2019 en Écosse au Royaume-Uni. La bande chorale était alors dirigée par le commandant de la bande chorale du défi d'aujourd'hui, le lieutenant-colonel Raphaël Venet, qui était alors commandant de la bande de brigade des gardes.
Mass Band having put up that uh, beautiful performance has completed the display and has of course marched off the center stage to take his position once more on the parade ground. The colors are reversed as they bear the identity of these units and are present in all battles. They represent the unit's blood and treasures. What you are witnessing at the moment are the enzymes to the old colors, escort guards, the mass band, senior non-commissioned officers and regimental sergeant majors marching to take the appropriate positions on the parade ground preparatory to the commencement of the handing over of the old national and unit regimental colors. Ah, oh là là, ça c'est magnifique. Mesdames et messieurs, ce que vous voyez en ce moment, ce sont les enseignes aux anciens drapeaux, les gardes d'escorte, la bande chorale, les sous-officiers supérieurs et les sergents majeurs régimentaires marchant pour prendre leur position appropriée sur le terrain de parade préparation au début de la remise du vieux drapeau régimentaire national et des unités. C'est une activité magnifique, kaleidoscopique. Merci beaucoup. Dressing the lines to give a better impression to our spectators before receiving the old national and unit regimental colors. They've just taken a new position. What you are witnessing now are the unit regimental sergeant majors stepping out to take their positions in front of the senior non-commissioned officers before receiving the old national colors first and after which they will return to collect the old the units old regimental colors from the senior non-commissioned officers and hand them over to the enzymes right in front of them it may interest you to know that this is the only parade in the nigerian army that the regimental sergeant majors are allowed to draw their swords on parade Regimental Sergeant Majors swords are rarely used on parade. 
It is also expedient, expedient to state here that it is the primary function of the regimental sergeant majors to assist the unit commanding officers to maintain military disciplines, ethics, and traditions riding on the wealth of experience acquired over the years. Mesdames et Messieurs, ce que nous assistons, ce sont les unités des services. Enzymes to the old national colors returning their swords into the scabbard. Regimental sergeant majors who have just collected the old national colors from the senior non commissioned officers marching forward this time to hand over the colors to the enzymes to the old national color. Sit back and enjoy the proceeding. Une fois encore, le drapeau récupéré auprès des sous-officiers supérieurs. Son si marche à leur tour vers les enseignes des différentes unités et le remettre aux enseignes. Chaque unité a deux représentants qui sont l'enseigne au drapeau national et l'enseigne au drapeau régimentaire de l'unité. Essentially, let me quickly remind us that it was the British colonial authority that issued the first colors to the then Nigerian Indigenous Recruitment Centre, now Depot Nigerian Army, located in Zaria, which was established on the first day of August 1924 under the command of Major Housel, a British officer. Enzymes to the old unit regimental colors. Recover with your swords and this time returning the sword into the scabbard. Mesdames et Messieurs, pour le moment, le SMR a remis les anciens drapeaux nationaux et se retirant pour recevoir les anciens drapeaux. Régimentaire. Généralement, chaque unité a une paire de drapeaux, à savoir drapeau régimentaire national et unité. The Depot Nigerian Army being the mother of all Nigerian Army units, and it's entitled only one, only a national call and lesion with all battle honors.
won by its offspring, that is, all the battalions in the Nigerian army. The presentation of national colors to the Fort Nigerian army became imperative due Please shall we arise for the ceremonial beating of the retreat. Officers and warrant officers in uniform are to salute. Thank you. You may please be seated. Your Excellencies, what we just witnessed is the ceremonial beating of the retreat. The essence of the ceremonial beating of the retreat is to bid farewell to the colors being retired today. May I also inform our esteemed guests that 53 colors have been retired today, have been meritoriously served the nation. It may also interest you to know. It may also interest you to know that a total of 81 Nigerian Army units will be issued new national and regimental colors today. This is the first of its kind in the history of the common wealth of nations. About 53 units colors will be retired and will be reissued with new national and regimental colors while 28 units will be presented with initial issues of the national and regimental colors as a result of the establishment and operationalization of new units in line with the increasing operational commitment of the Nigerian Army as well as provision of extant Nigerian Army order of battle. Mesdames et Messieurs, il faut également vous intéresser et savoir qu'un total 81 unités de l'armée nigériane recevront aujourd'hui de nouveaux drapeaux nationaux et régimentaires. Environ 83, 53 drapeaux d'unités seraient retirés et seront réédités avec de nouveaux drapeaux nationaux et régimentaires. Tandis que 28 unités seront présentées avec l'émission initiale au drapeau national et régimentaire.
Your Excellency, distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, what you are witnessing now is the display of the colors. The essence of trooping is for the various guards on parade to see their old units, colors, for the last time and bid it farewell before returning it to the Nigerian Army Museum for safekeeping and preservation. Vos Excellences, officiers supérieurs, invités distingués, mesdames et messieurs, à tout moment, le SMR et le SNCO quitteront le terrain de parade après avoir mené à bien leur tâche, tandis que les enceintes, aux anciens travaux et les gardes d'escorte défileront dans un temps long, signifiant le début de la parade et la retraite permanente des anciens drapeaux au musée de l'armée nigériane pour la garde et la préservation, après un service méritoire à la nation. Oh là là, ça c'est l'armée nigériane pour vous. Excellency, distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, the old national and regimental colors, alongside the escort guards, slow marching. Mesdames et messieurs, l'essence de la parade. Et que les différents gardes en parade voient leurs anciens drapeaux dirités pour la dernière fois et leur font leur adieu avant de les retirer au musée de l'armée nigériane pour les conserver et les préserver. event unfolding here at the Eagle Square talking about the 2023 Nigerian Army trooping and color presentation here at Eagle Square. What you are witnessing now is the display of the old national and regimental colors by the enzymes. And any moment from now, the parade commander will present now. Mesdames et messieurs, ce que vous voyez maintenant, ce sont les anciens drapeaux national et régimentaires à la retraite qui défilent à pas long, traversant les rangs pendant que le troupe les derniers saluts au drapeau qui se retire. Ouh là là. May we all rise for the colors. Officers, warrant officers in uniform will please salute. May we all rise, please. Levez-vous, s'il vous plaît. Les officiers doivent se saluer, s'il vous plaît. Excellency, distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, what you are witnessing now is the old national and regimental colors to be retired, marching in slow march, passing through the ranks while the troops pay their respect to the retiring colors. Indeed, this is a moment of nostalgia 
for troops presenting arms literally bidding farewell to this working instrument, which is regarded as a symbol of unit spirit and having worked with them in numerous campaigns and official functions. Your Excellency, the retiring all colors and presentation of new colors to a regiment will either be as a result of amalgamation of a unit. You may please be seated. Very good, that's one. When a unit color has served for a long time and participated in numerous campaigns deserving recognition, when a regiment is disbanded, when a unit color are torn off and worn out amongst others, at such occasions, the national and regimental colors are lowered, cased and kept for safekeeping and preservation in the Nigerian Army Museum. Excellences, Mesdames et Messieurs, le, trait, le retrait des anciens drapeaux et la présentation de nouvelles couleurs à un régiment peuvent être la suite de la fusion d'unité. Lorsque le drapeau d'unité a servi pendant longtemps et a participé à de nombreuses campagnes militaires, lorsque un régiment est dissu, lorsque les couleurs d'unité sont déchirées et usées, entre autres. Les drapeaux nationaux et régimentaux sont abaissés, encaissés et conservés en toute sécurité au musée de l'armée nigériane. Mesdames et Messieurs, ce que nous assistons maintenant, c'est les anciens drapeaux qui seront en retraite dans quelques moments. C'est une activité, c'est une cérémonie magnifique. Vous voyez, les officiers et les soldats sont en uniforme, bien habillés, avec les officiers sur les cheveux blancs. Ça, c'est une activité très, très, très militaire. Merci beaucoup.
entrance to the National Regimental Colors. A marching pass and thereafter will be joined by the senior non commissioned officers and the regimental sergeant majors as they finally hand over the retired National and Regimental Colors to the quartermasters for onward delivery to the Nigerian Army Museum for safekeeping and preservation. des ans ultérieurs au musée de l'armée nigériane pour sauvegarder et conserver. Alors que les enseignes s'approchent et l'estrade salue. May I, at this juncture, most respectfully request the Chief of Army Staff, Lieutenant General Farouk Yaya, CFR, to respectfully invite His Excellency the President Commander-in-Chief of the Armed Forces, Federal Republic of Nigeria, President Mohamed Buhari, GCFR, to place Mount the salute in that. The Chief of Army Staff, sir. please be seated. May I once again please request the Chief of Army Staff to please invite the Review Officer to please take his seat. The Chief of Army Staff, sir. Distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, Permit me to give you a brief insight into some of the operations of the colors that will be retiring today. For one battalion, located in Vinin KB, KB states, the names of the campaign which they have they are Ashanti of 1900. Garao of 1914, Banjo of 1915, Ashanti of 1873 to 1874, and so many others. 
for two battalions. The operations include Ashanti of 1873 to 1874, Ashanti of 1900, Beho, Nyangwa, East Africa from 1916 to 1918, amongst others. It will interest you to know that the Special Guest of Honor commanded two battalions as commanding officer from 31st August 1966 to 10th May 1967. Bringing your minds back to the parade ground, the regimental sergeant majors and the escorts behind the colors marching to join up. The escorts marking time in between the colors. Your Excellencies, distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, some of these colors retiring today have served in Liberia Sierra Leone, Somalia, Sudan, Gambia, Mali, and also in numerous campaigns in Nigeria. They recorded successes in battles and bear the insignia of this campaign. Most of these victories came at a huge cost to life, resources, and treasure. We are grateful and appreciate your service. Marching off the parade ground, uh, the old national and regimental colors retiring today. Can we please put our hands together for the colors? Your Excellency, distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, coming up next will be the presentation of Bringing your minds back to the parade ground. What you're witnessing now are the quartermaster group comprising of the Nila carriers, the Ra carriers, as well as the drum group marching smartly to set the stage for the, prepar for the preparation for the presentation of the new national and regimental colors. Ce que vous voyez maintenant, c'est le groupe du commissariat composé du support de Nilas, du support de RAC, ainsi que du groupe de tambour marchant intelligemment pour préparer le terrain pour la présentation des nouveaux drapeaux national et régimentaires. Your Excellencies, very senior officers, distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen. Historically, colors of regiments are presented by the president's head of state or monarchs, prime ministers or commander-in-chief of the country or state under which the regiment exists. But obviously, because Nigeria had not attained her sovereign status as at 1956, Queen Elizabeth II of England presented colors to the four premier infantry battalions of the Nigerian army, which comprises of the first, second, third, and the 4th Battalion, as well as the 5th Battalion. It was after this historic event that the Nigerian Regiment of the Royal West African Frontier Force was renamed Queen's Own Nigerian Regiment. All the five battalions of the regiment subsequently became the first Queen's Own 
Nigerian Regiment, 2nd Queen's Own Nigerian Regiment, as well as the 3rd Queen's Own Nigerian Regiment until independence in 1960. Vos Excellences, les officiers supérieurs, normalement, dans l'histoire, les drapeaux de régiment sont présentés par le président, les chefs d'État ou les monarques. Mais évidemment, parce que Nigeria n'avait pas atteint son statut souverain, en 1956, la reine Elisabeth II d'Angleterre a présenté le couleur aux quatre premiers bataillons d'infanterie et l'armée nigérienne qui comprennent les premières, deuxième, troisième et quatrième bataillons ainsi que le cinquième bataillon. C'est après cet événement historique que le régiment nigérien de Royal West African Frontier Force a été rebaptisé Queen's Own Nigerian Regiment. Tous les cinq bataillons du régiment sont ensuite devenus le premier régiment nigérien de la reine, le deuxième régiment nigérien de la reine ainsi que le troisième régiment nigérien de la reine jusqu'à l'indépendance en 1960. Your Excellency, distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen. The Quartermaster Group, after setting the stage for the new color presentation, will return to take their position. And that will be done shortly. Mesdames et Messieurs, après avoir préparé le terrain pour le nouveau drapeau, le groupe de commissariat vont. Euh, marcher intelligemment vers son position pour attendre la prochain event, événement. Your Excellency, distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, what you are witnessing now are the quartermaster group marching off the parade ground to set the stage ready for the presentation of the brown, new, national and regimental colors. Mesdames et Messieurs, ce que vous voyez maintenant, c'est le groupe de commissariat qui sont en train de retourner vers sa position après avoir préparé le terrain pour l'événement prochain. C'est vraiment joli, vraiment magnifique.
Your Excellency, the stage is now set for the brand new colors to be presented to units whose colors were retired here this morning by the President and Commander-in-Chief of the Armed Forces. The drum section is for the consecration of the regimental colors. It comprises of five side drums, one tenor drum, one bass drum, and a drum major mix. The color rack is used for housing the new national and unit regimental colors for the color presentation. The nilas serve as support to the enzymes representing the various units while waiting to receive their unit colors. Le décor est maintenant planté pour que les, tous les nouveaux drapeaux soient présentés aux unités. La section tambour est destinée à la consultation des couleurs régimentaires. Il comprend sept tambours snar, un tambour teneur, un tambour de base et un tambour major mini. Le porte-drapeau est utilisé pour arbitrer les nouveaux drapeaux nationaux et unités des unités régimentaires pour la présentation des drapeaux. Distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, at the moment, what you are witnessing are the senior non-commissioned officers marching forward, led by Major T.S. Adeola, the Guards Brigade Ordnance Officer. And also with him is Major A.A. Abubakar, the quartermaster for today's auspicious occasion, is being assisted by Major O.F. in the air. Mesdames et messieurs, ce que vous voyez, ce sont les sous-officiers supérieurs marchant vers l'avant, dirigés par le commandant T.S. Adeola, officier de l'ordonnance de la brigade de garde, avec le nouveau drapeau à placer sur le support. À tout moment, le commissariat, le commandant et e. Aboubakar s'avancera pour recevoir le nouveau drapeau régimentaire à placer sous le tambour. Your Excellency, distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, on the right of the, on the left of the saluting dais are the national colors, while on the left are the unit regimental colors. Mesdames et messieurs, à droite de l'estrade de salut, c'est les couleurs régimentaires et à from now, Major A.A. Abubakar, the quartermaster will be marching forward to receive the brand new 
unit regimental colors to be placed on the drum. After placing the brand new unit regimental colors on the drum, he will return to receive the brand new national color to place on top of the unit regimental color. Après avoir reçu le nouveau drapeau régimentaire, il passe maintenant pour le soir le nouveau couleur national pour placer sur le drapeau d'unité régimentaire. Your Excellency, Distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, it may interest you to know that the colors emblazed on the drums by the quartermaster are the colors of Seven Guards Battalion. The unit is saddled with the responsibility of protecting and securing the seat of power on the Guards Brigade. This is symbolic as well as representative of the other 80 units, since 81 drum stands for all the units represented cannot be displayed on this parade ground. To this end, all the unit colors are placed on the rack to make it easy for the process of presentation. Cela pour vous intéresser de savoir que les drapeaux mis en place sur les tambours par le commissariat sont les drapeaux du 7e bataillon des gardes, l'unité qui est chargée de protéger et de sécuriser les, le siège du pouvoir sous la brigade des gardes. D'autres drapeaux unitaires sont placés sur le rack pour faciliter les processus de présentation. Excellency, having successfully placed the brand new national and the unit regimental colors on the drums piled in front of us, the quartermaster, Major A. A. Aubaka, marches back to the rack, making sure that the colors are well placed on the rack. Merci beaucoup, Kiola. Mesdames et messieurs, D'autres drapeaux unitaires sont placés sur le rack pour faciliter le processus de présentation.
also on the parade ground at the quartermaster group. Excellency, distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, any moment from now, the quartermaster, Major A.A. A. Abubakar, will be leaving the quartermaster group with the brand new national color of Seven Guards Battalion. Excellency, distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, the origin of flags and colors goes a long way, the way back to the early days, where colors of military organizations act as a rallying point for troops and also to mark the location of the commander in the battlefield. Though the battle space in modern times has changed with the advent of modern technology, an introduction of mechanized infantry, ammo and artillery. Today, colors are not carried into battles in the way they used to be. But it still retains all the traditions, glory, honors, pride, and venerations of the past. Therefore, colors are still paraded and true as significant events. Invited to sing, mesdames and messieurs. L'origine des drapeaux et des couleurs remonte au premier jour où le drapeau de l'organisation militaire servait de point de raillement aux troupes et marquait également l'emplacement du commandant sur le champ de bataille. L'espace de combat des temps modernes a changé avec l'événement des technologies modernes et à l'introduction de l'infanterie, des blindés et de l'artillerie mécanisée. Aujourd'hui, les drapeaux ne sont plus transportée dans la bataille comme elle était autrefois, mais elle conserve toute la tradition, la gloire, l'honneur, la fierté et la vénération du passé. Par conséquent, les drapeaux sont toujours défilés et déployés lors d'événements importants.
commence toujours avec le boulot national. J'adore cette activité. Bravo l'armée nigériane. Bon courage. Mesdames et messieurs, il n'y a que deux principaux types de drapeaux dans l'armée nigériane. Ce sont les drapeaux nationaux et les drapeaux régimentaires. En 1992 et 2007, l'armée nigérienne a décidé que le drapeau national serait attribué aux dépôts de l'armée nigérienne, aux unités de combat, aux unités de soutien au combat et aux unités nouvellement formées qui ont participé à des combats à l'intérieur et à l'extérieur du Nigeria. Les drapeaux régimentaires, quant à elles, sont attribués aux formations et aux unités généralement environ 5 ans après leur création. Excellency, 
distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen. It may interest you to know that the national and regimental colors being consecrated here today are made locally in Kaduna State by El Jahab Nigerian Limited. Sikh Mumbai is on the Rambo Bridge Mountain. It's presented to the unit of the army that we have, the army of Nigeria. C'est vous de cette activité que nous assistons ce matin. Vraiment, je dirais que c'est une présentation très magnifique et jolie. C'est quelque chose qui prouve tout ce qu'elles à la fierté de deux pays et pour voir qu'ils ont tous diligents, ils ont tous soigneux pour présenter quelque chose comme ça. Voici les qualités et les caractéristiques de l'armée partout dans le monde.
at this juncture, the I crave the indulgence of the Chief of Army Staff, Lieutenant General Farouk Yaya, Commander of the Order of the Federal Republic, to respectfully invite the special guest of honor to receive the brand new national color and present to Seven Guards Battalion First and to other units represented here, the Chief of Army Staff, sir. Mesdames et Messieurs, voici le moment que nous attendons. Puis-je à nouveau consciencement demander au chef d'état-major de l'armée, le général de corps armée nigérian, Farouk Yahya, commandant de l'ordre de la République fédérale, de bien vouloir inviter l'officier de la République, le président, commandant en chef des forces armées nigériennes, son excellence, Mamadou Bouhari, à présenter à nouveau le nouveau drapeau régimentaire en premier à 7e bataille de l'État et autres unités. It may impress you to know that presenting seven guards first is because seven guards is the unit responsible for the protection of Mr. President and the first family and also the unit located here in the heart of Abuja, the federal capital territory. Distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, this particular aspect of the occasion is very significant. Therefore, I crave your indulgence to sit back, relax, and enjoy the moment. Thank you. Mesdames et Messieurs, c'est à noter que le 7e bataillon s'occupe de la protection de la première famille nigériane, de la famille du président et le FCT. Voilà pourquoi on va commencer la présentation avec la 7e bataillon. Amusez-vous bien. Merci beaucoup.
distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, what you are watching now. A special guest of honor presenting the brand new unit regimental colors, after which he is now blessing the colors as a symbol of authority for you. End of the blessing of the colors. The special guest of honor will mount the seventeen days. Next is the induction of the colors. Bringing your minds back to the parade ground. The quartermaster group once again. Marching forward to retrieve the dealers, the rats and also the section of draw. Paving way for the induction of the new colors. Mesdames et messieurs, en ce moment, ce que vous voyez, ce sont le support de Rock et le support de Dilas. Le commissariat et le groupe de tambour qui avancent pour récupérer les racks, les tambours et les genouilles pour ouvrir la voie sur la voie au salut national. C'est les officiers que vous pouvez vous voir à l'intérieur, donc au centre. Je crois qu'ils sont six. Bien habillé en tenue militaire.
Bravo. Bravo. Your Excellency, distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, what you are watching now, and the quartermaster group talking about the Nila carriers, the rock carriers, the section of drug. Retrieving the nila, the rats and the drums, paving way for the induction of the new colors. And any moment from now, the parade commander will prepare the troops for the induction of the new colors. It will recall that the retreat was played for the retiring colors but for the new colors, the rivalry will be played to around a new beginning of the colors. Mesdames et Messieurs, en ce moment, ce que vous voyez, ce sont les supports de RAC et les supports de Nilas. Le commissariat et le groupe de tambour qui avancent et ils ont récupéré les RAC. Pour ouvrir la voie à l'induction de nouveaux drapeaux, le commandant de la parade habillera les troupes et donnera les mots de commandement pour les armes actuelles pour le nouveau drapeau. Rappelons que la retraite a été jouée pour le drapeau qui se retire, mais que pour le nouveau drapeau, le rebelle est joué pour annoncer un nouveau départ pour le drapeau. Les enceintes au nouveau drapeau observeront le virage intérieur et quitteront le terrain de la parade au ralenti. So, the enzymes to the new colors will observe an inward turn and march off the parade ground in slow time. In a short while, sit back. Voilà, comme j'ai dit tout à l'heure, les enzymes au nouveau drapeau observeront le virage intérieur et quitteront le terrain de parade au ralenti. Officers, warrant officers in uniform, will please salute. Thank you.
You may please be seated. Your Excellency, distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, at the moment what we are witnessing are the end times to the brown new national and regimental colors marching off the parade ground. As the colors march off the parade, seven guards national and regimental colors will join up with the rest of the parade us enjoying the parade with its full compliments. Vos Excellences, Mesdames et Messieurs, les enseignes au nouveau drapeau observeront le virage intérieur et quitteront le terrain de parade pour ralentir. And any moment from now, the parade commander, Lieutenant Colonel S. Y. Hassan, will give the command for us to present arms. At that point, officers, warrant officers in uniform, will salute us. Thank you. All rise for the colors. Officers, warrant officers in uniform to please salute. Thank you. Votre Excellence, Monsieur, l'officier de la revue, officier de très haut rang en service et à la retraite, invité distingué, mesdames et messieurs. Ce mot de commandement du commandant de défilé, lieutenant colonel S.Y. Hassan, vient de déclencher le début de la passe de marche au ralenti. Les officiers et les sous-officiers en tenue militaire pour les saluer.
may please be seated. Excellency, distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, any moment from now, Seven Guards Battalion Color will be joining the parade for the march pass in slow and quick time, any moment from now. Beautiful transition of breaking from slow to quick time this time by the enzymes to the brand new national and regimental color deserves a resounding applause, please. We are gradually coming to the end of this phase of this ceremony. Even as the colors will be marching off the parade ground, paving way for the parade commander to carry on with the march pass in slow and quick time. Mesdames et Messieurs, nous avons eu une transition fantastique en ce moment. Le rapide, les troupes s'alignent maintenant au rythme. Ils sont 16 par minute, plein de vigueur.
Excellency, the Revenue Officer, sir, very senior officers, serving and retired, distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen. Those words of command from the Bahrain Commander, Lieutenant Colonel S.Y. Hassan, has just triggered the commencement of the march pass in slow and quick time. The troops are now marching gracefully, full of vigor, in a synchronized manner. Mesdames et Messieurs, Votre Excellence, Messieurs les officiers de la revue, officiers de très haut rang en service et à la retraite, invités distingués, Mesdames et Messieurs, ce mot de commandement du commandant de défilé, le lieutenant colonel Eswaya Hassan, vient de déclencher le début de la passe de marche au ralenti. Your Excellency, distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, may I at this juncture hand over the microphone to Mrs. Mape Ogu Yusuf to please carry on with proceedings. Yes, well, thank you very much, Master Warrant Officer Tony. It's great to see the parade now going past a slow time. They're going to be going in quick time very soon. But I would not be doing this segment alone. I also have with me Lieutenant Colonel Jajara. Colonel? Thank you. This is Mawe Ogun Yusuf. Your Excellencies, distinguishing guests, senior officers, ladies and gentlemen. At the moment, what we are witnessing is the march pass in slow time. Your Excellencies, distinguished guests, senior officers, ladies and gentlemen. At the moment, the troops are marching gracefully, full of vigor, and taking pay 65 paces per minute, with no swinging of arms in synchronized order. Mesdames and Messieurs, the troops march maintenant avec grâce. Plein de vigueur, ils font 65 pas par minute sans balancer les bras dans un ordre synchronisé. I once again remind this of us gathering that was the color party marches to your sitting position. Dignitaries are requested to rise at the mark of honor and respect while officers and women officers in uniform are to salute. Thank you. Mesdames et Messieurs, la garde numéro 1 s'approche maintenant de l'estrade de salut. Puis-je rappeler à nos distingués invités que lorsque le drapeau défile là où vous êtes assis, vous êtes priés de vous lever. Les officiers en service et les adjudants en uniforme doivent saluer. Dieu Excellency, distinguished guests, senior officers, ladies and gentlemen. to acquaint you with the composition of today's parade. The parade commander. At this point, may I most respectfully request the chief of army staff to invite the special guest of honor, being officer, to take his position of the saluting days. The chief of army staff, sir. The parade commander for today's historic event Lieutenant Colonel H.Y. Hassan. Behind the parade commander is the parade second in command and president of Major S.M. Yahya. The number one guard is being provided by Guards Brigade Nigerian Army. The guard is being commanded by Major R.O. Yusuf. He's being assisted by two sub-guard commanders, Captain E.C. Yedi Kachi and Captain I.M. Emos. Mesdames et Messieurs, the 
les officiers sur les chevaux blancs, sur le commandant de la parade et le lieutenant colonel Esway Hassan. At the moment, is the number one guard commanded by Major R.O. Yusuf paying compliments to the special guest of honor. The conducting warrant officer behind the number one guard is uh, warrant officer Tadawus Ridwa. Mesdames et messieurs, le garde numéro 1 est fourni par le brigade de garde de l'armée nigérienne et le commandant number de l'armée. Number 2 guard being provided by Army Headquarters Garrison and commanded Number 2 guard is being commanded by Major S. Onwai. He's been assisted by two sub guard commanders, Captain G.O. Ame and Captain M. Mikael. Conducting warrant officer behind the number two guard is warrant officer Ali Uragi. At the moment is the number two guard paying compliments to the Rubin officer. Guard number two is furnished by the garrison of the Tamat of the Army and is commanded by Commandant Amway. Your Excellencies, distinguished ladies and gentlemen. Number three and number four guards are a matter of pride for all Nigerian women as they are provided for by the Nigerian Army Women Corps. They are currently marching past as guard number three, paying their compliments to the reviewing officer. Number three guard is commanded by Major E.A. Smart. The sub-guard commanders are Captain G.U. Eagles. Galo and Captain A.A. Idika. May I request that we all stand up as the color party, which is the party between number three and number four guards, are currently passing by and paying their compliments. La garde numéro 3 et 4 sont fournis par le corps de femmes de l'armée nigérienne et la garde numéro 3 est commandée par le commandant I.A. Smart. Vous voyez, restez au début, lors du passage de drapeau. Please, wherever you are, whenever it is that the color party passes by your front, kindly please stand up and pay your respects to the colors. Warrant officers are requested to salute. N'importe où vous êtes, quand les drapeaux passent, il faut rester au, euh, au début pour saluer et les, les, les sous-officiers supérieurs et tous les officiers et soldats en uniforme doivent saluer. Or just passing by and have paid their compliments is guard number four, which is commanded by Major B.R. Adeni. Sub-guard commanders are Captain C.P. Oluguro and Captain W.I. La guard qui vient de passer est la guard numéro 4, qui est commandée par commandant B.R. Adeni. Et les sous-gardes, Captain P.C. Oluguro et Captain W.I. Kum. At the moment, is the number six guard provided by Guards Brigade Nigerian Army, commanded by Major C.E. Wafo, paying compliment to the European officer. The guard is uh, the guard is being commanded by Major C.E. Wafo, has been assisted by of guard commanders Captain S.A. Babayemi and Captain W.W. Tika. Distinguished guests, senior officers, ladies and gentlemen, once again. As the color party marches to your sitting positions, signatures are requested to rise as a mark of honor and respect. Officers and warrant officers in uniform are to salute. Thank you. Behind the number six guard is the parade adjutant, Captain T.O. Yusuf, sitting astride the white stallion. Derrière le groupe de défiés, c'est l'ajudant du parade, le capitaine Théo Yusuf. Providing a scintillating musical interlude, 
For today's parade is the mass band commanded by Lieutenant Colonel R. Mvene, being assisted by Major O.J. Obi and Captain K. Bua. Other band officers on parade this morning are uh, Lieutenant O.O. Ladere and uh, Lieutenant D. Anele. La bande chorale dirigée par le lieutenant colonel Arun Venet et assistée par le commandant O.J. Obi, le capitaine Bois et le lieutenant de Anélé et l'intermède musical circulant du défi et d'aujourd'hui. Les éléments de la bande proviennent d'état-major du fonds de réinstallation. Your Excellences, distinguished guests, very senior officers, ladies and gentlemen, it may interest you to know that number three and number four guards are all female guards drawn from the Nigerian Army Women Corps, a one of its kind corps in sub Saharan Africa. The corps, established in March 2018 by the then Chief of Army Staff, Lieutenant General Tuko Yusuf Boratai, was part of its effort to celebrate the International Women's Day and in accordance with the Universal Declaration by the United Nations General Assembly on the 10th of December 1948 and Article 1 of the UN Charter for Gender Equality. The Nigerian Army Women Corps is the first women corps in West Africa. The vision of the corps is to provide competent female officers and soldiers who are poised to take effective action in support of all Nigeria Army operational engagements while the mission is to train professionally responsive female officers and soldiers that can be deployed to support Nigeria Army operational engagements and other commitments within and outside the country. The Corps has two operational battalions, one Women's Special Operations Battalion located at Niri, Abuja, and Women's Special Operations Battalion located in Abakaliki in Ebony State. Taking into cognizance the capacity and competence of female soldiers in the army, as well as taking advantage of the large female population resources, the importance of the Nigerian Army Women Corps cannot be over, overemphasized. According to Lieutenant General Buratai, the call will give the Nigerian Army an opportunity to recognize women in order to derive the maximum benefit from their contribution to the defense and the security of our nation. Well, over now to you, Brigadier General, why don't you go? Thank you so much. Thank you so much, Imaokwe, for that uh, beautiful commentary on the march passing slow time. Your Excellency, distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, just witnessed a successful transition from the march pass in slow time to march pass in quick time. And I will say that was a very fantastic transition. Quelle transition de march. Vraiment, c'est impressionnant. Mesdames et messieurs, le corps des femmes de l'armée Vos Excellences, invités des les officiers supérieurs, mesdames, il faut vous intéresser de savoir que le garde numéro 3 et 4 sont tous des gardes féminins tirés du pot de femmes de l'armée nigériane. Ce coup d'armée établi en mars 2018 par le chef d'état-major de l'armée de l'époque, le général de coup d'armée, Tuko Muratai, dans le cadre de ses efforts pour célébrer la journée internationale de la femme et conformément à la déclaration, déclaration universelle de l'Assemblée Générale. Your Excellency, distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, still ongoing is the march past in slow and quick time. Here at the Eagle Square, Lieutenant Colonel S.Y. Hassan mounted on that beautiful white stallion, approaching the saluting days, still in charge of these uh, beautiful and colorful parade, speaking of the Nigerian army trooping and presentation of Colors Parade 2022. Of course, paying compliments to the reviewing officer, the number one guard commanded by Major R.O. Yusuf, 
right sub guard commander captain ec onyedi kachi and left sub guard commander captain im amos paying compliments to the review officer the two guard closely followed by the three guard may i remind us to please rise as the color party marches past the various pavilions where we are seated the color party marching past the saluting days closely followed by the number four guard commanding the number four guard is major pr adeni closely supported by right sub guard commander captain cp oduguo and the left sub guard commander is lieutenant beg your pardon, Captain W.I. Cool. Number five guard, paying compliments to the reviewing officer. Closely followed by the sixth guard. Marching very smartly, full of vigor, full of strength. Mesdames et Messieurs, comme je disais tout à l'heure, le, le corps des femmes de l'armée nigériane est le premier corps des femmes en Afrique de l'Ouest. La vision du corps est de fournir des femmes officiers et des soldats compétents, prêtes à prendre des mesures efficaces à l'appui de tous les engagements opérationnels de l'armée nigériane. Le corps a deux bataillons opérationnels, un bataillon d'opération spéciale féminine et deux bataillons d'opération spéciale féminine situés respectivement à Guiri, à Bouja et à Bakaleke dans l'état de Bon. Aujourd'hui, le corps de femmes est également ici pour participer à être considéré comme l'intégration complète des femmes dans l'armée à tous les niveaux. Et il s'agit également de meilleures pratiques internationales. Bravo, le corps d'armée de l'armée nigériane, le corps des femmes de l'armée nigériane. Voilà, Diana, qu'en pensez-vous de ce corps Pourquoi les femmes incluant dans des activités comme ça, ça nous donne l'impression que le Nigeria, surtout l'armée Nigeria, est maintenant, euh, faire face maintenant à toutes les, les pratiques internationales, les meilleures pratiques internationales, et ça nous donne euh, une place euh, vraiment euh, précise dans la société. Je suis d'accord avec vous, chérie. Vraiment, je suis impressionné par la qualité. On peut même dire qu'il y a des différences entre les femmes, soldats, officiers et les hommes qui sont en parade. Bravo aux co des femmes de l'armée nigérienne. Thank you, Tijani, for that uh, translation into French. Your Excellency, distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, still ongoing is the march pass in big time. At the moment, the troops are currently marking time in a synchronized order in preparation to hold one guard after the order. Fantastic halls in there with precision. Magnifique. and gentlemen, the great commander had just given that word of command to address the troops preparatory to the advancing review order. 
where they will be marching forward to listen to the address of the beginning of the song. The fabulous halt in there with a lot of precision. Distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, the next event we shall witness is a brief presentation of the Chief of Army Star commemorative coin for the Trooping and Presentation of Colors 2023. To the President, Commander in Chief of the Armed Forces, President Muhammad Buhari, Grand Commander of the Federal Republic. At this juncture, permit me humbly invite the Chief of Army staff to present the commemorative coin to Mr. President. Mesdames et Messieurs, the Chief of Army staff, sir. Une présentation commémorative de la pièce de la Chief of Président. Et cela fait pas. 